Hey guys, welcome back to Bows Fan TV. And today we're doing a match preview for Sunday's FAI Cup final against St. Pat's at the Aviva. Um, yeah, look, it's, it's finally upon us now. Only 40 hours to go. Um, there's a start to kick in now, let's be honest. I'm sure we're all feeling that way. Um, yeah, it's 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 obviously going to be a great occasion, you know, not, not every day you're going to you're going to see your team playing the Aviva in front of a what looks to be a record crowd. Um, and yeah, look, it's, it's going to be a great day out. Look, obviously, we'll be looking to win. Of course, it's the final, but, you know, you feel regardless of the result, it's it's going to be a great day out for everybody, you know, being the Aviva, you know, once again, after after 2021, um, it, it's going to be a great, great day. But look, more, more on the game, I suppose, um, you know, two, two evenly matched teams, I'd say. Look, I know a lot of people are probably going to, probably going to think Pats are the favourites and maybe that's just because of where they were in the league. They finished, what, third and we finished sixth. But, you know, if you look at the games throughout the season, I don't think there was much in them, to be honest. Um, you know, I think that the four games he played against and we beat them in Richmond 2-0 and we, we, we deservedly won that game that night. Um, then it was the 3-2 at Daily Mount, a bit of a mad game, a bit of a mad few minutes where they got three goals out of nowhere, really, and we fought back well with 10 men. Didn't quite get the result on the night, but it, you know we, we could have easily got something from that game. Um, then you look back, then you, then um, we drew nil all in Richmond in a game where I, I, I think we probably should have won. We had a lot of lot, lot of the ball. We created a couple of good chances, but we just couldn't find them there. Uh, then the, the, the two 0 back in Daly Mount there uh, last month, which you know up until Bugger went off injured, and we think we were well in the game. But once Mark Doyle got that that goal, I think we all we think we just fell apart a bit. But Look, that all goes out the window for for Sunday. We think you know it's a cup final. You know, you know, form goes out the window in these sort of games. It's all about who turns up on the day, who play, who you know, who plays the better football, who who wants it more, I suppose. And look, we, that's what we've got to do. Look, it's it's as simple as that. Really, just turn up and want it more than Pats. I'm sure we'll, we'll get the business done. But um, you know, th they're obviously a good side. Pats not denying that. Look, you know, it, it is going to be a very tight game. I think you know you don't. I know. The exception of last year where shells were beaten by Derry fairly quickly. You don't see, you know, walkovers and these sort of games are always very tight. A lot of them always seem to go the distance, you know, whether that's pen hours or extra time. Um, you know, they're not normally decided in the 90. Um and no, I think I think that might follow a similar trend. We'll go I'll get my prediction near the end of the video. But um, you know, yeah, I, I expect a tight game. You know, Pats are a decent side, you know, they've got some good players, no 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 denying that. You know, Forrest is probably their best player, one of the best players in the league. You know, when he when he's on it, he's brilliant. Um, you know, they've got a lot of players with good pace, you know, Mulraney, I'm sure look, you know, the, the, with on that Aviva pitch, he'll he'll be looking to exploit that. He'll be looking to, you know, use his pace and, and be as much of a threat as possible. Um, you know, they're good in midfield, you know, Jamie Lennon is a very solid player. Um, they're good at the back as well. You know, Joe Redmond's probably probably one of the best uh, one of the best if not if if not the best centre half in the league. You know, he's he's a great defender. You know, Dean Lyons is a good keeper as well. Sam Crute is a good young fullback. You know, so they've got a very good side, but look, we we've got players of our own that could cause cause problems as well, no doubt about it. Afalabi, joint top goal scorer in the league. James Clark been brilliant all season. Conley, you know, he's got that drive and pace in him, that work ethic. You know, Danny Grant slowly getting back into a bit of form now. You know, after, you know, since he's first come back, you know, he he's starting to slowly look like the Danny Grant of old again. You know, yeah, look, we're gonna be missing Casper through suspension and obviously Bucko. Um, you know, two two big losses we think. And look, I know a lot of people are probably their opinions are probably a bit split on Casper, but I, I actually think he's been pretty good for us this season. Um, but look, I, I think Ewan Cam Burns is he's he's gonna come in and, and and he'll have no bother in this game. I think, uh, you know, we, we've seen it mul you know multiple times now over the course of the season. He's he's he's, he's more than capable. He's very solid. He, you know, he, he feels like a seasoned pro already, even though he's only what nineteen twenty. So, yeah, I, I think he, he's more than ready to come in and and, and be. <laughs> be that that replacement for Casper. Um, you know, Flores as well has got a lot to step up to as well as McManus, who I think I look we'll get into we predict the team now, but I think they'll be the two in midfield. I think, you know, Flores is probably the you know, after Boko, he's probably the you know, most sort of captain like player, you know, in, in that team when when there's when you know you take Boko out of the equation. Um you know he he's got a he's he's got a big task on his hands to be the leader in the team for the game and and you know get us forward um you know because he 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 has that ability as well you know he only likes to tackle and he's quite you know he's solid defensively as a as a midfielder but he he likes to get forward he's got a good shot on him obviously we know that um you know I think we have to see a big game from him um 
but yeah, look, I'll go to your predicted lineup now anyway. Um <clears throat> I'm gonna go with Talbot and goal. Um, right back. I'm gonna play. I'm gonna stick with Barrett. I think he's been pretty good uh, since he's come into the team. You know, more consistently. Uh, two centre halves. I'm gonna go with Novak and Burn. I think. I think you know that's probably what's the best available to us right now. Uh, left back. I'm gonna go with Paddy Kirk. Uh, two midfielders: McManus and Flores. Uh, just behind James Clark. Uh, Dylan Connolly on the right. Afalabi in front and Danny Grant on the left. So I think that's. I think that was the same team that played against Cork last week, so I'd probably stick with that. You know, there wasn't, you know, obviously it was a terribly bit of a nothing game, but there wasn't many bad performances in that game from 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 any of the players. I think that's probably the best we can put out right now. Um, yeah, look, there's there's plenty in the, plenty of quality in that team to go up to go up hats and cause some problems. Look. <laughs> and the, you look at you, you even look at the bench. You know, you've got players like um, McDade and. Even look, I know Lally Kill be in the squad because I know there's a lot of speculation that he may be off the parts after this game. Look, I think if he's if he's you know if he's ready to go, if he's rearing to go, I think he has to be in the team. Maybe not starting, but if he still has something to offer, if, even if he has a little bit to offer, I think he he has to be in the squad. You want you want your best team available to you, um, you know, and just the silver or grabs, you know, you you you'd have to doubt his mentality as a, as a professional footballer. If he wasn't ready, to, if he wasn't ready to get up for a cup final, regardless of if he's leaving or not. So I think I think he has to be in the squad. And there's even more players on on the bench that could come on and make a difference if the game is tight. You know, there's a few torn legs out there. You, you know, like I said, McDade, O'Sullivan. Mark uh, Akintunde, even you know, even your your Twardex, you know, these players can, can come in and and make a difference if if the game's tight and you need some fresh legs out there. So yeah, look, it, it's, it's gonna be a great spectacle. Obviously, in the AV, the forty thousand plus, is probably, I think it's probably gonna break the record, isn't it? I think forty one thousand was the record. I think that's probably gonna break pretty soon. If if, if it probably has already been broken, um, and, you know, you probably have even more tickets sold from now until Sunday. So. You know, it's going to be a really great occasion. Um, and look, you know, obviously we'll be looking to to get a bit of revenge, I suppose, after twenty twenty one. Looking over, I think only three players of that squad remain at the club. But you know that that was a, a tough day. Let's be honest. Um, you know, I remember being there. It was it was a pretty drab game. Let's be honest. Didn't really get exciting up until Forrester got the goal, and then it was a bit bit exciting. Obviously, we got the equalizers, and then the penalties. Obviously, heartbreaking going all the way to penalties and losing. But you know, it's a new group now, a different under a different manager. They'll be really, you know, they'll be raring to go and look look at some of the look at some of the games we've had. You know, throughout the cup campaign, you know, first round the home to shells by no means an easy game. We got through that. Um, then obviously we had Rock Mound, which you know we, we got by quite comfortably. Then you had to go away to draw it again, like the shells game by no means an easy game. We went up there, we won three one. Then semi final away to Galway, a team who hadn't been who hadn't been beaten at home all season. Another really difficult game. We went up there, and we got the and we got the job done. You know, players have been really good in the cup this season. They've shown a great mentality. They've dug in deep. They've got the they've got the business done in the games and you know full credit to them you know they've been brilliant in the cup they've shown a great mentality like i said and hopefully that can carry on into, 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 the, into the final on sunday um and yeah look what, what more to say to be honest i'm just obviously nervous i'm sure we all are right now but look after all the years of pain <laughs> Hurt, you know, cup semi final defeats, cup final losses. You just feel like Sunday has to happen for us, and I think it's going to happen for us on Sunday. I think we're going to bring it home. I'm going to go with a 1 0 win after extra time. I think it'll be a toy game, you know, it's going to be nervy, it's going to be cagey, even on that big pitch where you know we might have a bit more football to be played. I think it's going to be it's going to follow a similar path to cup finals of, of the past few years. It's going to be quite cagey, toy, not a lot of goals, not a lot of action, but I think it's just. You, you see it in these sort of finals, there's always that like one little moment of magic that lights up the game. You saw it with Forrester last year, look, I know it was against us, but you know, you, or not, not last year, even 2021, you saw it. I'm um, trying to think of others, you know, um, you know, obviously, I think in 2020, it was like a 4-2 win to Dundalk against Rovers, and you, you think down, you think down the years over a cup finals, you know, I think Sean McGuire got a last minute winner in the extra time for Cork against some dog. You know, it just takes that one little moment with the magic and I think that might have come from us. And I think Afalabi will get the goal. I just think the you know, this sort of game is built for a player like him, you know, big game player, joint top scorer in the league. I think yeah, I think he'll he'll do something 
uh, for us, uh, I think an extra time or something, and and we'll just sneak it one nail. And obviously, it'd be, it'd be a brilliant, brilliant um, result if we can get it. You know, I know people are probably back pads in this game as favourites, and fair enough. Look, they've probably been better in the league this season, even though I think they've got like something like twelve defeats. I think we only have two less, but. I think both squads are quite evenly matched. Look, I don't, I don't agree with what a lot of people are saying that Pats are, you know, that, not not that we have no chance, but that, you know, a lot of people seem to be pretty convinced that Pats are going to win. But I, I think that plays into our favour. Look, I know down the years we've had game, we've gone into games as underdogs and we've actually performed better. Um, so I think that could work in our favour. And look. I thought I'd go all fucking sobby here and all, but look, just do it for us. <laughs> if any players are watching this book and do it for us, you know, after all the years I've heard, after all, all the shit we've been through, all the, you know, heartbreak, and I just think eventually it has to happen. You know, I think eventually we have to bring a cup home. All the great years of, of work that's gone on around the club, you know, on and off the pitch, I just think we need that reward for it all. I think we're going to get it on Sunday. I'm going to go with a 1 0 win after extra time and look, please, please, God. You know, this is a, this is a game for our heroes now. I think these players need to stand up now, be heroes, go out there and fight, you know, be, you know, in every single, you know, department, just outwork pads, outwork them, show that you care. Show that heart that maybe we, we, we lacked in the, in the last couple of games to, that probably cost us in the end of not getting top four. Looking out, they have one, one more chance to do it now for Europe. And I think, you know, I think the players will turn up on the day and we'll get the business done and we'll be all be very happy after the game. And look, that that's all we can ask for, really. No matter, by, by any means necessary, just fucking do the job and bring that cup home. Anyway, that's from the end. Make sure you like, subscribe, share, comment down below. I think it heading into the final. Your score predictions, you know, are you nervous? Um, you know, how are you feeling? And yeah, hopefully by the next time I'm speaking to you, we've um we've delivered um another cup into the trophy cabinet. Yeah, see you then.